All right, now, so with the mercury rising in Europe, what are we to make of this weather? Well, let's ask a weatherman meteorologist. Alexander Hildebrandt from the German weather service Wetter. Dot com is with us, Alex. Good to see you. Good to see a you. Spanish meteorologist has tweeted the following: "Hell is coming." Is it really going to be that dramatic? Well, it feels like hell when you're outside when it's 40 degrees Celsius, and those are the temperatures we are expecting in large parts of Europe. In southern Germany, we will have 39 or 40 on Wednesday. In France, we are looking into temperatures of 43, 44 in southern areas already today and tomorrow. And there are other countries sweating also. For example, Eastern Europe will have 36, 37%, that's for sure. And that is due to a uh, Saharan heat that is coming our way. Well, let's talk about it because it's only June. Europe is already sizzling. How normal is this? Does this fit in the pattern, the weather pattern that, that you usually observe? Uh, normally, we would expect these kind of heat waves more in July and August. So it's very unusual that this is already occurring now at the end of June. Uh, but the, the weather pattern is um, caused by a, a low pressure system west of Spain, and that is really pushing the heat into our direction. And this is also connected to other global um, events that are building up now long, st strong, long stretches or uh, certain stretches, certain movements of air in the higher atmosphere about the, uh, above the Atlantic. So that is the reason why this heat is coming towards our way. What do these extreme temperatures that we're going through right now tell us about global warming? Are they related? Should we start getting prepared for more of these in the future? Unfortunately, I must say yes. This is, this is already a sign of global warming. If this continues, June 2019 in Germany will be the hottest June of, on record. But also, this is also um, true for other uh, countries like in France or Spain. And this is a development we have seen in the last maybe 60 or 7 years. The month of June has continuously gotten warmer and warmer, only by a few degrees. But this is a trend that has continued in the last decades and most probably will continue if the global warming continues in the way the climate models forecast. What do you do to beat the heat? Well, I, of course, I try to stay indoors when it's uh, around noon and in the afternoons. Actually, my office is also very cool, which is nice. Uh, but I try to avoid sports. I do ride my bikes through the city also when it's hot, but I shouldn't. And I feel really often very bad about it uh, afterwards. So, uh, and I also try to get a good night's sleep, which is difficult when the heat is uh, so strong. So I would advise everyone to keep the apartment as dark as possible during the day so that, the, that there is some rest at nights because the nights will be have tropical temperatures in large parts of Europe in the coming days. And hydrate, 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 drink a lot of water. Meteorologist Alexander Hildebrandt from the German Weather Service, wetter.com. Thank you. Thank you.